2017's been a good year for Bob Knight. With wins already under his belt this year in the Lionheart Challenge Series and the Lionheart Retro Series, Mike's proved he was equally capable of his new victory lane in the Delora DW12 with an impressive strategic win under the lights in the Kentucky 200 presented by Dragonfly Racing. After a modest 19th place qualifying effort, Mike's consistently worked his way forward while championship favorites Dan Guerin, Jake Wright, Andrew Kinsella, and Brian Nassif battled the front of the field in the early laps. By the midway point in the race, Mike's had positioned his Von Hansen's Delara inside the top 10. A key moment in the race came on lap 66, with a caution flag slowing the field right in the middle of the second pit window. A group of leaders remained on track while the majority of the field, including Mike's, pitted for fuel and tires. He emerged from the pit stop in 12th position, but unlike many ahead of him, Mike's had enough fuel to complete the race on a single stop. With no cautions in sight, those who rolled the dice and remained on track were forced to pit early. Among the leaders who were short on fuel pole sitter Dan Guerin and teammate Ian Adams, along with the AGR duo of Jason Galvin and Jason Robarch. Among those using the more conservative strategy, points leader Kinsella, second place Yasek and Mikes, who became the leader of the pack when both Kinsella and Yasek found trouble on pit lane during their final stops. It was that conservative strategy that proved correct and Mikes eventually cycled back to the lead shortly before a late caution ended the race with three laps to go. Rookie of the Year contender Ryan Otis finished second, matching his earlier podium result at Phoenix. The strong finish moves him to second overall in the rookie battle, 42 points back of Kinsella. Joe Branch enjoyed his first podium of the season with a third place result. Pole sitter Garen would finish 17th, the best result amongst those who chose the alternate fuel strategy. Engineered to win, built to last, nothing beats the feel of a true hydraulic braking system in the world of sim racing. HPP's hydraulic pedals and their accessories set the standard for simulation racing. For more info on HPP and the products they offer, go to hppsimulation.com. And for more information on the Lionheart IndyCar Series presented by First Medical Equipment, head to lionheartracingseries.com.